Jordan, you must have been absolutely elated with what transpired on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it was brilliant, wasn't it? it were, uh, you couldn't have written a better script. Um, you know, but it, it were a very uh, big effort from the boys. You know, you don't get them uh, them stories and, and, and write write them stories if you if you don't perform. And you know, all one to seventeen, the coaching staff, the backroom staff got us in the you know the best mentality and, and the best shape we could to uh, to go into that and give it as best crack. And you know, we went into it and and, and give it as best crack and come out on top. In terms of the pen and the paper, there's still blank sheets and they're still inking the pen, you're in the quarterfinals. Yeah, yeah, it's still it's still still lots to do and you know, we've proved to ourselves now that we, we, we can achieve great things and you know we'll be we'll be looking ahead to, to you know the ultimate goal to make the Challenge Cup final. That's that's the dream come true, wasn't it, if we if we got there. So yeah, we we've got a tough challenge at Halifax, you know. I'm sure they'll be looking at that draw thinking, oh we've got a real big chance here and you know that we struggled against them when we went there this year, and we'll we'll, we'll have to be good uh, in that in that quarter final. So we got them this week, so it'll be a big test this week, and you know it'll be a uh, be a dream come true if we got to that semi final, and then obviously you know see if we can get to that final. You're firmly settled in now here at the Bradford Bulls. What's so special about this group of players, Jordan? I just think how tight knit we are. You know, there's a group, bunch of players there that you know we're all mates. We you know, like I said in an interview after the game, we've we've got no people on mega money and, and no people that have got big egos and all this and, and that's what that's what brings us together, you know, we're just working class people, yeah, earning a living and you know, we come into training every day, work hard together, go for beers together, go for coffees together, go for food together, you know, we we do everything together as a tight knit group and you know, I think that shows on the field when we're working for one another and it especially showed in that last ten minutes when, you know, Lee's threw everything, including the kitchen sink at us and you know, people making try saving tackles and and working for one another. It was almost like the side had superhuman powers in that last ten minutes. The way you were sliding across and just being attracted to those blue and gold Leeds players. Yeah, well, it's 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 knockout football in it, and you know, it's we were two points in front, and you know, there were ten minutes left. We had no subs left, and you know, there were some very very tired bodies out there, and and, and they just kept performing. They just kept m moving for each other, kept working for one another, kept making them try saving tackles, and. You know, ultimately, that's what wins your games. You can be best playing team in the world, but if you can't defend, then you'll never win. So, you know, for us, we worked hard for one another and defended the socks off. And yeah, the second half might not have been as pretty as the first one, but you know, we got the win, and that's all that matters. What would what did that win mean to you on a, on a personal level after everything that's happened in the the last uh, eighteen to twelve months? Uh, you know, it, it was massive. You know, for for me to get the win against my my old club, it. You know, obviously, you, you can imagine what it felt like. It, it were a great feeling, um, but for me, the the biggest feeling were getting it for Bradford Bulls, and you know, showing that Bradford Bulls are getting back to where you know they should be. You know, they've been at the lowest point now, and they can't go any lower. And you know, now we're working our way up, and I think we proved on uh, Saturday that you know the Bradford Bulls are are, are on the way up, and um, for people to watch out. You know, and, and like I said in the interview after the game, I, I have no hard feelings towards Leeds. I don't. You know, saying it, I won't say any bad things about him in front of anyone, in front of press or anything like that because, you know, I don't have any hard feelings. They're giving me a debut, they give me, you know, a World Club Challenge shot against Jonathan Thurston and, you know, ultimately give me that chance to be a professional rugby league player. So, for me, I, I've got no hard feelings and, you know, I just hope that Leeds Rhinos can get back to the club the war and, you know, start climbing that ladder and uh, I've got some good pals there and it's not nice to see them in, in, in such such bad times but I wish them all the best and, and hopefully they can get a win this week against Cass. It's Halifax at the Summer Bash in Blackpool on Saturday evening, another tough uh, opponent awaits. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny one actually, it's it's quite an, it's another emotional game for me personally because the last time I played in a Summer Bash in 2017 against Old KR, it's the day my granddad died so you know it's 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 a quite an emotional uh, quite an emotional event for me and, and the last events that happened when I went to Blackpool uh, you know something that stick with me, and you know I'll be uh, I'll be aiming to make him proud this week when we go to Blackpool, and um, you know hopefully we can get the two points. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing the Bradford fans pack out the stadium again like they did last time, and you know making all the noise and, and enjoying the time at the Summer Bash. It was fantastic. I lost my dad uh, recently to, to cancer, and I think that's why the tears come out from me on Saturday. Such was the magnitude of that performance. Is are you going to draw on on obviously Arthur? Uh, who, who's no longer around Jordan, obviously, and, and doing proud. Yeah, definitely, I do that every game. You know, I know I'll be watching whenever he is now, and 
you know, I go out every game to try and make him proud. It's it's quite funny actually because every time I played for Leeds, I used to back against Leeds. So, you know, my mum, my mum and dad were saying at weekend it might be the first time he actually backs that you playing for a, a side, <laughs> playing for the side. So, you know, yeah, I go out every game and give my all for him. My grandma, my granddad that are no longer with us. It's it's trying to make them proud, and obviously my dad and my mum, you know, that have, have have been there through through all the tough times and seeing me at my worst, and and now they're seeing the uh, the moments on the field. Now it's. You know, it's it's all for them and all for my family, and you know, ultimately to uh, provide them a better life. Ultimately, Jordan, you're only 22. Rowan Mills 19. There's potential there in a, a long-lasting Bradford Bulls partnership. Yeah, I said it to you in the interview before the the pre-game of the Leeds game. You know, hopefully, you'd see um, the the partnership flourish, and you know, I think again, you saw some more real good glimpses of. Uh, of, of the partnership and you know I got man of the match and, and all applaud it but I think Rowan were fantastic that day and for a young lad he were calm collective kicking the goals he took the line on you know provided Sam with the offload for the try and you know he were fantastic that day and, and, and you know could have deserved man of the match himself and you know he's a, he's a great kid and like I said before we'll uh, we'll keep building that partnership and uh, it could be uh, the partnership that takes uh, Bradford back to Super League couldn't it so it's very exciting times.